Masterclass Episode 3, Puff Pastry. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen, Masterclass Episode 3. Today we're making puff pastry, but not just any puff pastry. Today we're making inverted puff pastry. Now inverted puff pastry takes the butter layer that normally goes on the inside and wraps it around the dough on the outside. There have been some people who have proven that this makes a lighter, fluffier puff pastry. Puff pastry can be used in so many different recipes. So today I'm going to show you just how to master the actual making of the pastry. Make sure you're subscribed so you can find out how we use it in the future. Let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Puff pastry has two parts. You've got the barrage and the detente. The barrage is your butter layer, which we're going to start now. To the bowl of our stand mixer, we're going to add 675 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. We're going to beat this well before adding our flour. To our butter, we're adding 150 grams of flour. We're just going to turn this on to low so that our butter incorporates with our flour. I've prepared a piece of parchment that is 12 inches by 12 inches and it allows the paper to go all the way over as well. This makes sure we can spread our barrage all the way across so that we have nice clean edges. We'll start by spreading it out as best as we can on the paper. Now we're going to fold over the edges of that paper, both sides and both of our edges and then we're going to flip it over so the seam sides are down. Now we're going to take our rolling pin and roll that butter all the way to the edges, trying to keep it nice and even all the way across. You can see how when it comes into those edges, it makes that perfect square. And we just want to check for evenness. The more even your butter is, the better our lamination will be. And you'll just want to slide your butter packet onto a board so that you can move it safely into the refrigerator. This is going to chill for 30 to 90 minutes, just until it's a little bit pliable. It needs to be the same temperature as our detrompe, which we're going to start now. To our bowl go 600 grams of flour, 12 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of salt. We're going to start mixing this with our dough hook. Once the dry ingredients are combined, we'll add 130 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. To 250 milliliters of cold water, we're adding 15 milliliters of white vinegar. You can use either white vinegar or lemon juice here. Either way, the acid helps to prevent the buildup of gluten to keep our dough nice and soft. Just like our barrage, we want to make our dough into a nice square. This one will be 8 inches in size. Now we're going to wrap this up and pop it in the fridge until it's firm, about half an hour. Tip one, keep your work surface as cold as possible. Making puff pastry on a hot, humid day is never a good idea. Give your surface a light dusting of flour, and then we're going to peel our paper off of our barrage. We want to work with this as quickly as possible here, so I'm going to turn it into a diamond shape and put our dough straight into the center. And what we want to do here is work our barrage over our detrompe, so it's encapsulating the entire thing. We want to just try and pinch all of these little cracks together so that it seals the whole thing in. Just use the heat from your hands here to bring it together. You don't want it to melt too much, so work quite quickly. Then flip it over and do the underneath, making sure all of those cracks are filled. We're going to lightly flour the top so that our rolling pin doesn't stick to our dough. And now we're going to roll this out 10 inches by 20 inches. I find the easiest way is just to press into the dough before you try to roll. A little more flour is needed. Try and keep your edges neat and just keep going until you get to 20 inches. And I've turned my dough here as well just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. So that is 20 by 10 and we're ready for our first fold. You're going to want to dust off as much excess flour as you can here. Take one third and fold it into the center and brush off the additional excess flour. And then we'll bring the other side over. The excess flour won't allow it to laminate properly. And that is our first fold. We're going to roll it out once again, 10 by 20, then we're going to wrap it up and let it rest in the fridge for a couple of hours. 
I'm just going to mark it with two knuckles so that you know it has two folds in there. Tip two, take your time. This is a long process, but most of the time is spent resting the dough. So don't rush, make sure you let that dough chill out so that you have perfect layers. And then we start the process over again. Beat down on your dough until it's easier to roll and then roll it out to 10 inches by 20 inches. We're ready to fold it just like the last time. Fold and dust, and I don't like to press down this side until I fold it over the other side to make sure it's going to fit evenly. Now just square up your ends and we're going to do the whole thing one more time. Fold, brush, fold again, and wrap it up back in the fridge for another two hours. Tip three, don't use too much flour. When we're rolling out the pastry, we still want a fair amount of flour so that it doesn't stick to our board, but this pastry will actually come away from your work surface fairly easily, so we don't want to flour every single time we turn. And make sure we're brushing off any flour between the layers. You can see here I've marked it with my knuckle four times so that we know there are four turns. Beat it down, roll it out, 10 inches by 20 inches, then fold, dust, and fold again. Last time, we're just going to roll it out one more time to 10 inches by 20 inches, fold it in again, and it'll be ready for its final resting. And that is our final fold. Six folds in total makes our perfect puff pastry. We're going to let this now chill overnight so all of those glutens can relax. This will make about three pounds of puff pastry. That's a lot of pastry. Don't worry, it freezes really well. So you can leave this in the fridge, really nice and tightly wrapped for four days, or you can leave it in the freezer for up to six months. What I like to do is cut it into my segments, roll them out just a little bit, wrap them up in cling film, and pop them in the freezer. If you have frozen them and you're ready to use them, take them out the night before, let them de-thaw in the fridge so that they're still very cold. And then you're ready to roll, literally. We will be bringing you recipes using this pastry, but for now, I'm just going to bake up a tiny little bit just so you can see the puff. buttery and it's so flaky. It's puffed up so beautifully and you can really taste all those layers as they melt in your tongue. It's definitely worth the time and it's way better than store-bought. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, likes are free. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.